hey, in time what? Uh, got something here you might find interesting. Uh, the FBI launches tip sharing for inauguration, and I'm sure that's all it's for. Anyway, FBI has launched system share tips for possible terror threats for local police. Agency just in time for the presidential inauguration. Program aims to get law enforcement at all levels sharing data quick about uh, quickly about suspicious activity in people, particularly around the nation's capital in the week leading up to the historic ceremony. Officials say they're getting as many as a thousand tips a day from the public. Okay. Let me tell you the name of it. It's called eGuardian. The program had been delayed and underwent pilot testing before launching New Year's Eve as a system available to law enforcement agencies around the world. Or excuse me, I didn't mean to say world around the country. Separately, Tuesday, President Bush today declared a state of emergency in Washington, D.C. in preparation for the Obama inauguration. Okay. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to try to keep my thumb on it. This printing is very small. Uh, okay. What about the, uh, remember the eGuardian now, but what about the state of emergency? Can I say something to you? Uh, never out of every state in this nation declared a state of emergency. When they declare that state of emergency, you'll look it up. Schwarzenegger's done it. I mean, it's been Katrina. On and on and on. When they declare that state of emergency, uh, whether you know it or not, uh, it gives them the powers that you're actually under martial law. I'm not trying to scare anybody by any means, shape, form, or fashion, but once they declare that state of emergency, uh, they can take over the power grid, all generators, everything, you know, whatever they want to do is carte blanche. But in any event, uh, you know, the, the, the extra money that, uh, they needing for this inaugural ball and all is, uh, and I'm trying to be real careful here, but uh, the extra money they're needing, uh, you know, America's already broke, but yet they're going to spend all this money to inaugurate an illegal alien as the next American president. Yep, they sure are. They're going to do it. The judges have ignored the lawsuit. They've, I mean, they've ignored everything because this is the next New World Order puppet, puppet excuse me, that, uh, it's going to finish out what Bush started. So all of you that hated Bush so bad and love Obama so much, uh, I make a prophetic prediction to you. It won't be too long that you that uh, have a mind still and are not a, a sheep and a zombie that you, you ain't going to like him for too long. But that's just uh, that's just a little prophetic prediction put out there by old uh, End Time Watchmen. But having said that... Uh, Federal funds go for another 15 million, and they're not going. They don't ever give you the true figure. They never do. To you jack this thing up and get it ready to, uh, you know, swear him in. You know, I got a thing about something I heard that on radio. A radio uh, personality, who I'm friends with, at Don's radio station. He was talking, and he said, you know, about all this money about swearing him in and this that and the other. And I thought, you know, I said I had to do a lot of repenting ever since the. Uh, uh, election in November because I've been swearing ever since they put him in. That's just a joke and I hadn't. But in any event, uh, let me move on. It says, uh, by declaring an emergency, Mr. Bush opened the door for D.C. to get additional federal funding to deal with the unique challenges that will accompany the influx. Uh, report CBSNews.com, Brian Monopoly, whatever his name is, don't really matter to me. Emergency declaration doesn't mean that a dangerous event has been identified or expected to occur. All right, listen. Federal authorities hope the new tip sharing system overcomes the drawback of another version, which lets police report their suspicions to the FBI but does not allow officers to search the system for similar patterns in other jurisdictions. Okay. Spoiler the inauguration, why in the world is it? Uh, anyway. The program will allow enforcement to share threats on suspicious activity and hopefully prevent the terrorist attacks, said FBI supervisor. Gerald Rogero in Washington. Of the thousand tips, a dozen might be worth noting in the new system. Wait a minute now. Might be worth noting. Didn't say they wouldn't stay in the system. Might be worth noting. Okay? My paranoid? No. I'm just letting you know there's another thing ratcheting up. You know, they put this stuff out and they say they're going to use it for this and they wind up using it for everything. It's kind of like this. You know, you got a man on the street and he's filming something on public street that taxpayer money put the sidewalk down and everything else. Okay? And then a cop comes up and, and pushes his hand in the camera and says, you can't film. OK? 
okay? And then they turn around and put a freaking camera at the, at the red light because they're too sorry to get their butt out there and do their job. They'd rather just let it be done com computer and then watch every move you make and wherever you go and all that, see? So having said that, it just shows the hypocrisy and the, uh, the uh, ulterior motive of what they're really going to do, okay? So having said that, any law enforcement officers with an internet connection and an account the system can access eGuardian. Now, the ease of access, listen to this, could be the worst thing about the program, said American Civil Liberties Union uh, Policy Council Michael German. Okay, page two coming up. Uh, and by the way, uh, uh, the concern is what is being collected. Who is it being shared with? And who's responsible for any action taken as a result, said Mr. German. And he is a former FBI agent. Federal government's creating this national system. It's their responsibility that only the proper and correct information is being put into it, you see. Now, federal officials say there's a vetting process already in place to check the accuracy of the information put into the system. Users are trained in civil liberty protections. Listen to this. I want, I want to tell you something. That statement right there is a bold face lie. They're not trained to protect the civil liberties of no American person. Okay? You better hear me on this. I'm telling you that person right there is a bald faced liar. Okay? Now, Currently, more than 400 law enforcement officials have opened e in individual eGuardian accounts. Agency officials hope it will prove useful, 400 now, and eventually spread to the 18,000 different law enforcement agencies in the country. Whoa, I told you. They say they're using it for the inauguration, but wham, all of a sudden, we're going to do it for every corner, every jot and tittle of America. See, I told you. But in any event, since 2001, terror attacks, the government has launched a number of different programs to analyze share threat information quickly. Early incarcerations were criticized as haphazard. FBI officials say eGuardian will become a part, watch, will become a part of a smarter, faster, bigger system of suspicious activity reporting spanning intelligence agencies and the Department of Homeland Security. Now, See, they, 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 they throw this word terror attacks in there. They, they bring back 2001 as being a terror attack. They say it's only for the inauguration. And then all of a sudden, every agency in the U.S. is going to have it. And they're going to report suspicious activity. Go back and look it up and see who is deemed a domestic terrorist. And then you will put the puzzle together, my friend. And you will see this is just another part of the puzzle of the New World Order to literally destroy you from the face of this earth and your freedoms that you so love so dearly and were given by your creator. Now, now uh, not everyone is sold, however. The New York Police Department is not participating because they say they already have a threat sharing system through the Joint Terrorism Task Force with the FBI. NYPD, NYPD spokesman Paul Brown said eGuardian is for smaller jurisdictions that don't already have that relationship. See? Okay. NYPD's got their own, okay? But this is being used for the inaugural ball. Over a million people coming. You got the next usurper, Obama, coming in. But they're going to use the E-Guardian to protect his butt. Okay, and, but, yeah, but yet the, the, the other guy comes and says this is for smaller stuff. Give me a break, dude. We all know what's going on, okay? We ain't stupid. But having said that, that will be the end of that. That was just a little uh, note there to get, to get you uh, to thinking about that. But just think about it. The... Uh, well, the, type, the way I found it was uh, FBI launches tip sharing for Barack Obama's presidential inauguration. Okay? I'll say it again. FBI launches tip sharing for Barack Obama's presidential inauguration. Okay, that's the title of it, but that's, what not, that, that's not all what it's for. I'll let that go with that and let that be that one video. Now, uh, the next video I'm going to do, or the next uh, several, is going to be about where we're at, what's going on next, where we're going and what's going to be the end result. So, and I will be using biblical scriptures on these videos. I will title it where you'll know whether you want to watch it or not. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you in time, Watchman. Y'all have a good one.